gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The show. Sun Love Universe. I wanna love you and treat you. Hello guys, welcome to my diary with Ike. In today's episode, we journal about the unknown facts of a country found in the Caribbean part of the world, Jamaica. Welcome to Jamaica. Jamaica has a very small snake population and none of them are venomous. In 1872, the mongoose was imported to Jamaica to rid the cane fields of rats, which kill a large population of snakes too. Today, only eight species of non-poisonous snakes are found in Jamaica. Jamaica was the first commercial producer of bananas in the western world. The country's banana industry started out in 1866 when it started to commercially produce and export bananas. Today, the major crops of Jamaica include sugarcane, bananas, and mangoes. Jamaica was home to the British writer Ian Fleming, who is famous for creating James Bond, a larger-than-life character. While working for Britain's Naval Intelligence Division, Ian Fleming was in charge of a covert operation called Golden Eye, giving him real-life inspiration for his world-famous Bond series. Fleming later designed his dream home in Jamaica and named it Golden Eye. It was in Jamaica where he wrote more than a dozen novels and short stories featuring Agent 007. With reborn novels, Dr. No, Live and Let Die, and The Man with the Golden Gun are largely or partly set in Jamaica. Dr. No, the first James Bond movie, was filmed in Jamaica. Many other movies included Jamaican scenery. Today, a private airport is named after the late Ian Fleming.
1988, Jamaica became the first tropical country to enter a Winter Olympic event, Bob's Leading. I'll tell you why it's interesting. Bob's Leading is a winter sport in which teams of two or four teammates make timed runs down narrow twisting ice tracks in a gravity-powered sled. As you all know, Jamaica is a hot tropical country and the team had no experience in the extreme cold climate of Canada where the Olympics were held that year. Well, to tell you the truth, they had no experience in Bob's Leading as well. It all started because of two American businessmen who were visiting Jamaica and noticed push cut racing was popular. They noticed the similarities to Bob's Leading and decided to start the first national team. It was a big joke in Jamaica when the government announced that they were sending a Bob's Lead team to the Winter Olympics. The Jamaican Bob's Lead team did not own a Bob's Lead and had to borrow one to compete. The Bob's Lead team of Jamaica helped build the courage of underdogs everywhere. There's a Disney movie based on this event. It's called Cool Runnings. You should definitely check out. There's a dialogue in the movie which I love. People are always afraid of what's different. That's the spirit. People are always afraid of what's different. Now, 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 now! God! But they found in each other. Do you really expect these Jamaicans to qualify? The courage to give it their all. Not only are they going to qualify, they're going to turn some heads doing it. I see pride. I see power. And they took the whole world along for the ride. <laughs> is to follow your dreams. Follow follow your dreams. dreams. Uh, Walt Disney Pictures presents I am feeling very Olympic today. A story for anyone who dares to stand out in a crowd. I didn't come up here to forget who I am and where I come from. And everyone with the courage Cool Runnings! Yes! To stand up for their dreams. I will let know if I'm enough. When you cross that finish line. Where did these guys come from? Jamaica! You'll know. Cool Runnings. Now let's talk about the sport in which Jamaicans are considered the best. Jamaica has the fastest runners from Earth. Usain Bolt, the human equivalent of superhero Flash, comes from Jamaica. Out of the top five fastest male runners on Earth, four are Jamaican. The women of the country are also not behind. Shelly Ann Fraser was the first Caribbean woman to win gold at the Olympics in 2008. Out of the top 10 fastest female runners on earth, four are Jamaican. 21 year old Shelly Ann Fraser of Jamaica. And it appears, it appears, Tom, that Jamaica has gone one, two, and three. We're trying to sort out the minor places. But Shelly Ann Fraser, what can you say about the 21 year old? The only experience she has at this level is that she ran on the second place four by one last year in Osaka and midway through this race it was never even close she got a great start the blue mountain coffee from Jamaica is one of the most expensive types of coffee in the world a highly sought after and rare coffee it gets the name from the blue mountains where it is grown Jamaica lies in the Caribbean, so of course, it has a history with pirates. Portrayal in Jamaica belonged on the list of the most dangerous cities in the world in the 16th century. The city was captured by pirates led by the legendary Henry Morgan. The famous run Captain Morgan is named after him. Jamaica is a very Christian country and the contrary to many people believes. It has the most churches per square mile in the world.
The Rastafarian movement started in Jamaica in the 1930s and since then has spread across the world. Rastafarians believe that people of African descent living around the world are exiles, living and the ultimate objective is the return home to Zion, a reference name for Africa. Reggae has been tied to the Rastafari movement for many years, and even though the roots of Rastafarian culture in Jamaica, only 5% of the population in the country refers to themselves as Rastafarians. Cranberry is very popular in Jamaica. Since cranberry does not grow in Jamaica, it has to be imported and is perceived as a luxury item. Cranberry juice is a great dust quencher in the heat and a popular chaser for rum. Lastly, Jamaican women are famous for their beauty. With three winners and three runners-up in the Miss World competitions, Jamaica truly does boast some of the most beautiful women in the world. Naomi Campbell, Grace Jones, Stacey McKenzie, and Tyson Beckford are the most popular models from Jamaica. Boys, are you booking your flight already? That's all we had for you about Jamaica. Let's meet for another interesting episode next time. Bye bye. I want to spend time